You mentioned that these races are mirroring 2020 opposed to 2016. We're seeing Harris down by one, but in the election for governor, the Democrat Josh Stein is up by six points to his Republican challenger. Why are you seeing the ticket splitting here? Well, we've, we've had a history of that in North Carolina. Uh, I don't want to bore you with too much history, but if you went back 20 years ago to the 2004 election, and I know that is a long time ago, but if you look at what happened in North Carolina, George Bush won the state by double digits, the Republican over John Kerry, and Mike Easley, the Democrat, won by double digits in the race for governor, and Mike Easley was a Democrat. So if you go back 20 years, uh, there's gigantic ticket splitting happening uh, in North Carolina. You know, you don't have to go back to the 1960s or 70s. You can look, you know, in this century, in 2004, uh, there was a whole lot of that going on. Now, that it's not as extreme as it used to be 20 years ago. Um, it's it's come down. But the ticket split that we're seeing in the poll right now, you know, is, is fairly consistent with other um, ticket splits, in, including in 2020, where, again, Roy Cooper won by four to five points and uh, and as the Democrat and Donald Trump won by one point. So, you know, what we're seeing in the polls right now um, pretty closely mirrors that type of ticket splitting. Can you talk to us about the demographics here? Because as you noted, Donald Trump is only up by one point in North Carolina right now. So it's really anyone's race. But as you break the numbers down by demographic, it paints a very interesting picture. So give us the details. Yeah, on the demographics, I mean, no huge surprises that, that Donald Trump does very, very well among white voters uh, winning about, you know, winning by about a two to one margin. And that's, you know, that's consistent if you look at his uh, exit poll totals in 2016 in North Carolina, um, as well as in 2020 in the race against Joe Biden. Uh, so I don't think that that's that's a huge surprise. I, I think what what is interesting is that if you look at Mark Robinson's numbers among white voters in North Carolina in our poll, he's not doing nearly as well as Donald Trump. Um, he's, he's lagging behind uh, uh, where Trump is right now. And that part, you know, that partially explains some of the differences that we're finding um, in, in the two poll numbers with, with Trump, of course, doing better than Robinson um, in, in, when comparing those two races.